but we were made aware of a tactical situation in Oconnor Walk in the early morning hours of today. Investigators are working to learn what motivated a double shooting at the Roundy's Distribution Center in Economa Walk. Good evening, I'm Natalie Shepard. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. Two warehouse workers are dead, the suspect taking his own life, and we've now learned the name of the alleged shooter. Our team of reporters piecing this together for you this evening. Victor Jacobo has the latest on the gunman. First, CBS 58's Rose Schmidt is live from the Roundy's warehouse with what we know about the shooting and the connection between the people involved. Rose. Natalie, sources tell CBS 58 that the suspect is Fernan Cornelius. We don't know the details that led up to the shooting or what a possible motive would have been, but the union tells us the alleged suspect and the two victims worked together for decades. It's a very unfortunate situation that will impact the lives of many, many people. Inside Roundy's distribution center in Oconomowoc, employees left grief stricken. In Milwaukee and Oconomowoc, we're not immune to these type of events and it hits our family pretty hard because we are family. Oconomowoc police say a 911 call came in around 1030 Tuesday night. Currently we have an active tactical situation at Roundy's distribution center. What was first believed to be an industrial accident turned out to be a shooting, ending with three people dead, two victims and a suspect. Saw an ambulance come in and well, yeah, definitely somebody probably got hurt. Coworkers found the victims inside. Union Secretary Treasurer Thomas Bennett considered one of them a personal friend. All three of them had really stepped up as uh, as Teamsters and as employees of Kroger to serve our communities during the pandemic, you know, working 14, 15, 18 hour days. The incident also left truck drivers stranded in town after making deliveries to roundies. Being put out by not getting your next load is not near as bad as being shot and killed. The union says the suspect and victims were all warehouse workers who worked side by side for 20 years. Bennett doesn't know what triggered the incident. Everybody knows everybody. Not everybody gets along. Uh, you're never going to make 750 people get along. I feel for the families, not only of the people that were killed, I feel for the family of the, the guy that supposedly shot him. Because, I mean, everybody has a family. Roundy said in a statement that they're deeply saddened by the incident and that the building will remain closed while this investigation continues. The union tells us they're working with Roundy's to provide grief counseling for employees. And Oconomowoc police say they will not be releasing any more information today. Reporting live in Oconomowoc, Rose Schmidt, CBS 58 News.